today we're going to do your VO2 max test. So during the test, this is a maximal exercise test, which means that I need you to go as far and long as you possibly can. During the test, we're going to have this mouthpiece in your mouth. You're going to be breathing only out of your mouth, so we're going to have a nose clip on your nose to um, close your nose during the test. Okay, the test is going to start off fairly slow, but every three minutes, the speed and the grade are going to get um, more difficult. At the end of the test, we want you to be at the point where you don't have anything left in you, okay? During the test, we're going to be monitoring your breathing, we're going to be monitoring your heart rate, all those values, and we're going to be asking you how hard you think the test is, okay? At the end of the test, as I said, we want you at a maximum level, so we want you to go as long and hard as you can. When I'm asking you about how you feel and everything, we're going to use this rating of perceived exertion scale. Okay, this is also called an RPE scale, where it gives us a rating from 6 to 20, where 6 being as easy as could be, lying in bed, sitting in a chair, something like that, down to 20 being the hardest work you've ever done, and you could only do a few more steps, okay? Every three minutes, I'm going to ask you where you fall in this test. You're not going to be able to speak to me because you're going to have the mouthpiece in your mouth. So during the test, I need you to use hand signals. So because we started at a six, that's six, okay, rather than making it hard for yourself. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten is here, 11, 12, 13, 15, like that, okay? And we may have to ask you to clarify at different times if, you know, we get a little confused on our hand signals from there. So at the end of the test, I want you to be at a minimum of a 17, if not higher. So as I said, this is a maximal test. You're going to go until you don't think you've got anything left in the tank to be able to do this. So standing here now before the test, where do you think you are on the scale? Okay, so our minute zero, RPE is a 6. Okay, so do you have any questions about this test before we get started? No, no, no. Besides when it's going to fall and take you out there on it. No, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this mouthpiece put back on to you with that nose clip. You can um, go ahead and put that nose clip all the way on. Is that one? Yes, ma'am. <coughs> okay, go ahead and take that. Get all the way in. Good, can you turn towards me a little bit? There you go. Hold it up from where you want it. It's about there. You go, good. Lisa, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, could you help me and put this tube on? I'm going to turn my heart rate monitor on to start getting that minute zero. Connect my rubber stopper so that the ends don't fall off. Okay. Let me press. I'm going to get a blood pressure. Actually, we'll just unplug them and do it manually. Minute zero blood pressure is 122 over 78. Step a little bit closer to that heart monitor. It's a little nervous. Heart rate is 143. Good. Okay, so we're going to get ready to start the test. What I'm going to first do is I'm going to increase the speed and grade up to our starting speed, okay? When you, um, once we get there, I'll give you the instructions that when you're ready to go ahead and step onto the treadmill. At that point, we'll start the test. When you don't have anything left in you and you're done with the test, I want you to grab these handrails again, straddle, and the test will stop. During the test, I want you to try not to use the handrails. If you need them to get your balance, that's fine, but I don't want you holding on during the test. Okay, are you ready? All right, we'll start the speed and grade. Could you take the incline for me, Sarah, up to 10, please?
that seal around your mouth. One heart rate, Minute two heart rate, 158, start the blood pressure. One thirty two over eighty two. Clarice, on that scale of uh, six to twenty, can you tell me where you're where you're at right now? Good. Uh, an eleven or a six? Six. Okay. Minute three heart rate. One sixty three increase grade to twelve.
started right here on the pull down. Okay, go ahead and stay on the treadmill, stay on the treadmill. Thirty-four over eighty-two. Minute three heart rate is one fifty-eight. Normally we do a five to ten minute active cooling. Today we're just going to do a three minute active cooling. So at this point, I'm going to stop your treadmill.
from this point, we're just going to monitor up to 30 minutes to the point that her heart rate and her blood pressure return close to her pre-exercise levels. At that point, we're going to make sure that she is stable. We're going to give fluids, make sure that um, she's not dizzy, lightheaded, um, and that she feels well. At the end of that time, when she's met those criteria, heart rate is um, returned back to those pre-exercise levels or close to 100. Um, we're going to give her her discharge instructions and allow her to go on. So great job today. We're going to take your test results. We're going to plan an exercise prescription for you. Um, we're also going to use that data to classify you according to NCSM standards as to where you fall within the current population um, for your overall health assessment. Um, at this point, it'll take us about one to two weeks to do that, and we'll be back in touch with you. How do you feel today? Good. Do you feel recovered? Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to actually have you do is, just to be sure, I'm going to have remove this. And if you could just give me a little demonstration, could you walk to the door and back to make sure that you feel well? Great. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions, Ms. Morgan? No, ma'am. All right. Well, then we will follow up and see you soon.